Hi, this is Jeff Quiet from Datadog's technical solutions team, and today I'll be sharing with you a tip on how to use the Datadog command line interface on Linux to perform some basic tasks, including how to check the status of the agent, how to start and stop the agent, and how to send a flare to support when you require more assistance. Today I am using the Ubuntu operating system, but the same commands apply to Amazon Linux, Debian, and Red Hat distributions. In a follow-up video, I will show you these same actions on a Windows host. Of course, if you are using another supported operating system, check out Datadog's basic agent usage documentation. Assuming you've installed the agent by following the instructions on the agent installation page, the agent should be up and running. Let's check. Find the basic agent usage commands in the Datadog documentation for your operating system, and open a terminal window on the host running the Datadog agent and run the status command. So here I'm at the terminal window, and you can see I'm running the Ubuntu operating system. I'm just going to go ahead and run that sudo datadog agent status command. And if I scroll to the top, I can see the version of the agent I am running. I can also see the location to datadog's configuration file, as well as the directory that contains all of datadog's core integrations. And if I have any custom checks that I want to add that are relevant to my business, I would include them in the checks.d directory. Down below, I can see the host name as it will appear on Datadog's web UI. We're going to make a change to this in just a minute. Down further, I can see any checks that are running from the Datadog agent. So these are all out of the box checks, collecting system.cpu uh, utilization, disk space, file input and output. Down further, I can see whether or not our logs agent is running. And if I have any custom metrics that I'm submitting, I can see those listed here under our DogStats D extension. So now that we've seen the agent's current status, let's change the host name and restart the agent to see the change take effect. We'll open up the datadog.yaml configuration file we saw previously in a text editor. Today I'm going to use VI, but any text editor will do. Now we'll just search for hostname, and then we'll go to that line. And we'll change it to something that is more specific to us. So I'll type in datadog demo escape. We'll save those changes. And now we're just going to use the documentation we saw earlier to restart that datadog agent service. So sudo service datadog agent stop and sudo service datadog agent start. And now we're just going to check the status again. And if we scroll up, we should see the host name has been updated here. And this will also be reflected in the Datadog web UI. Finally, if we need assistance from Datadog's support team, they may ask us to run a flare to help them investigate. A flare is a compressed copy of our configuration files and agent logs. To run this command, simply type sudo datadog agent flare. You will be asked to provide your email address and confirmation to upload the flare to the Datadog support system. So here I will type in the email address for my account. And if you are not already working with an engineer, a ticket will be created in our support system and a support engineer will reach out to you for more context. I will type no here so we do not alert the support team. Now the Datadog agent command line interface offers many other commands as well, which you can check out using the Datadog agent help command. I hope this video has been helpful. For more tips and tricks, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks.